Hello, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. If you would like to enter to win a half-hour FaceTime reading, this is the last month I will be doing the giveaway here only on YouTube. You have a few more days to enter. I will be drawing it and announcing it on the first. Just comment blessing and like and subscribe. We are getting a look-see at the forecast for October, my favorite time of the year, Libra, Scorpio season, my favorite time. We're, we're starting off the month with a solar eclipse and new moon in Libra, and this is a great time to work on releasing pain and forgiving past relationships, forgiving past people, whether they are platonic relationships or love relationships. Think everything Venus right now. So anything doing with love, partnership, your aesthetic, changing some things, upgrading your wardrobe, changing your hair, you know, beautifying yourself in your home can go quite well right now. We also have Jupiter going retrograde October 9th in the sign of Gemini. And, um, you know, Jupiter is the planet of abundance, luck, Scorp. And when this planet goes reverse, it is um, time to really reflect, go inward, start truly appreciating your blessings. If you're focusing on gratitude, you do not have time to focus on what you don't have. Living in the attitude of gratitude will change your life in tremendous ways. Trust me, I know. Some of the ways I worked myself out of such a dark place where I truly and I hate to say this, but I didn't want to be here anymore. I really felt like so exhausted thinking about having to live and um, is with gratitude, is showing gratitude to the people, the things that I have, the blessings that, that are in my life. And that was one of the ways I worked myself out of a very dark place. So if you are in a dark place with Jupiter going retrograde, really acknowledging, reflecting, and showing gratitude to the people that are in your life, to the things that you do have. Do not focus on what you don't have. Focus on what you do have, my friends. If you put more focus on those things, you will find that your life will start changing. Use the next four months to really observe and um, go inward. Stay flexible as well because you could have some really auspicious things coming into your life right now, but you're going to have to have an open mind. Um, the month of October is filled with Scorpio vibes. It, um, Mercury and Venus are transiting through our sign. There may be a lot of revelations. Um, cancer, is, Mars is still in the sign of cancer, which can cause some moodiness when it comes to relationships, some impulsive things happening. Um, but we can expect a lot of introspection and a lot of revelations coming from that introspection. On October 17th, we have a full moon. It is the hunter's full moon in the sign of Aries. This will be a super full moon where it will look larger and closer to the earth. You um, may start feeling like it's time to solve some problems. You need to slow down, though, and make clear decisions and use this full moon to help you really prioritize your life and release the things that are not working for you. Of course, on the 22nd, we officially enter into Scorpio season. And with all the Scorpio vibes in the month of October, this is lining up for us to have a very beneficial, really productive, loving month. Um, that is, if you choose to focus on what you do have and not what you don't have, you could actually have a lot of romantic encounters. Things could get really spicy right now, Scorpio. Um, there could be some surface level things that, that come in, like, you know, maybe a hookup. 
And if you are not, you don't have to do that. But it's an, a really, um, this time of year right now with the transit, some of you may feel like it's time for me to get back out there and dust it off and um, get back out on the scene. And there's nothing wrong with that. Being empowered with your sexual energy is actually very powerful when you are in charge and you are you have healthy sexual desire. So the month of October, you could start feeling like, you know what? I'm going to get back up on that. Um, I'm going to get out there. I'm going to get it all, get myself all cleaned up and I'm going to get back out on the scene. Um, October overall setting up to be a beautiful month for us. The overall energy <clears throat> destination cutting edge here, uncharted territory. Um, needing courage though at this time a situation is changing something's in flux you could be changing a situation with a lover could be changing work could be changing a lot of change in the month of October it looks like <clears throat> there could be some things coming in where you're gonna have to make some clear concise decisions tell me what is it that Scorpio should be focusing on in the month of October so they can live their best life. Honor yourself and obligation. Stop telling yourself you should when you cater to others or unnecessary expectations of yourself. You stop your flow of abundance. Um, it looks to me like, Scorpio, you're telling yourself you need to do this, you have to do that, but they're unnecessary things. And in the month of October, you may want to take a look at where you do not have strong enough boundaries, where you need to prioritize yourself more opposed to others. Recognize the hard work you have put in and to get where you are today. Instead of thinking how far you still have to go, remind yourself of what you have accomplished, period. The divine asking you to honor yourself in the month of October. Look at how far you've come. Focus on solutions. Focus on your blessings, the people that are in your life, the things that are going good. And really allow October to be that transformational month where you stop focusing on what isn't working and what you don't have. Scorpio, you go 28 days every single day focusing only on gratitude, focusing only on solutions. And you will see a huge shift in your mindset where you will not have to try so hard. Staying present, being present and fully emerged in your day, you will start seeing huge changes come into your life. If that is the only thing you can change, start there. It looks like you need to honor yourself a little more. There's... um something here that is uncharted territory for you. It could possibly be um, a new love re relationship, a new job, a new kind of career, putting yourself out there. Some of you, there's some truth that you are discovering. I will say with everything, with all the transits in the month of October and the Libra vibes, we are setting up those that have been doing the work, those that have been putting in the energy and effort to better yourself, doing the shadow work, really aligning with your higher self. There will be justice. But where are you open to changing, Scorpio? If you want justice, if you want balance in your life, you have to be the change. And then the divine will come in and, and equal out those scales for you. Some people may be receiving karma in the month of October. So don't be surprised if you do not hear about somebody that has done you dirty getting their karma you are protected. Cleanse and protect your energy. Jealous people nearby and be careful who you trust. Completion of major milestones. Fulfillment. Success. Broadening your horizons and the end of a journey. Amen. Karmically, a lot of you are going through karmic completions. You're starting a new season. There's people around you. I'm going to clarify this. 
in the month of October. Be careful who you're trusting. Do not speak on your blessings. Do not speak on your manifestations until they come in. Do not let other people put doubt in your mind or um, ruin something so beautiful for you, Scorpio. There's people here that could be... If you are getting a new job, be careful of people um, being jealous at this workplace. If you're getting a promotion, be careful. If things are going really well for you and you're in a season of, you're in your harvest season where you're making a lot of money and you're in your bag, be careful about telling people how much money you make. Typically, Scorpios are not that. That's not our vibe, but I'm just here to remind you because there are people that are a little envious of you, your business opportunities. There's happy news coming in for you. There's celebration, new creative projects, and there's some people around you that may be a little shady. And you probably know, I know, the message I'm getting is you know who this is. You have said their name out loud. You know exactly who this person is. Some of you, it is a lover. Others, it is a friend. But beware of jealous people. Cleanse, protect your energy all through October. Use October to be your cleansing, your preparation month where you are getting ready to start your new season and, and start fresh, Scorp. Let it all go. If something is not working, if somebody is not giving to you, if they are not treating you with love, respect, and honor, you may want to start strategizing on how you can put this person in your past. Friend, lover, otherwise. Remember that it is a blessing to be in your energy. And if somebody can't see that, maybe they were never supposed to. Rejection is your protection. <clears throat> Tell me, what angel number should Scorpio be on the lookout for to confirm that this reading applies to them? Angel number 666. Six is the number of love. Six is a very beautiful number. It is the number of love. There is nothing satanic about the number six in numerology. It's just propaganda in society have made us believe that. Great blessings, self-love, boundaries, good vibes, wisdom, understanding, and letting go. Nurture yourself and your needs and desires and boundaries. Let go of the things that are weighing you down. Make space for something meaningful and expand your spirit to all areas of your life. That big love, big opportunity, or job needs space to squeeze in. The divine confirming everything I just said. My guides confirming the messages I was getting. You need to put up healthy boundaries, Scorp. Give yourself some self-love and learn to let go of the things that are just not serving you. Rewounding yourself over and over is not serving you and it's it's actually holding you down and holding you back from living your very best life think about this time next year if you took the next year to prioritize you prioritize your health your well-being and do shadow work and 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 learn how to do some breath work and stay present and show gratitude you can't even imagine where you could be by this time next year, guys. You could totally change it all around. That is the beauty of life, isn't it? Every day is a new day to get it right. And that makes me feel excited. And I hope it makes you feel excited too. The blockages in the month of October. Again, there's some sexual connection that some of you, um, your your sacral may be blocked you may be in a place where you are not feeling sexy sexual you don't have any sexual desire anymore and it may be because your sacral needs some work there's some blockage there some of you it's been a long time you may be celibate and sometimes that's definitely necessary but if you feel like this resonates there are a lot of things you can do to try to work on your sacral. Start wearing a lot of orange. Color with bright colors. Work on creative projects. Um, put on something sexy and 
dance to a sexy song that makes you feel attractive um, when you're alone. Do some intuitive dance. Really open yourself up in the month of October to express yourself in a, in a healthy sexual way. Um, it looks to me like there could be some friends, there could be something in the month of October, Scorpio, that you feel left out of. There could be a party or a wedding that you don't get invited to. Don't take it personal. You may feel like it's a challenge. You may actually have some kind of run-in with a jealous hater at a party or an event. So if you have one scheduled for the month of October, just be on your best behavior and watch your, your words. Some of you, there's a lot of potential, but you feel like you have blockages. Your investment will pay off. It's just a little delayed. And in the month of October, um, your power to attract wealth and prosperity, Scorpio, is is there just behind that sadness, just behind the low vibrational things. It's it's behind, you know, it's right there. It's just a matter of removing some blockages because you have so much potential. There's a gift that someone could give you, a very special gift. Um, you could discover that you have a gift for something that's been blocked. But the more you take care of you, give yourself self-love, really take care of your well-being, you may start to hone this gift. Tell me about blockages in October, please. Yeah, see, there's something about um, a celebration that may go sideways. So you, if, if you're having a birthday party, if one of your kids are having a birthday party, if you are invited to an event, be careful. You do not want to end up getting in some beat down drag out at a family event. Some of you, this is with a family member. You could have um, something coming up in October with your family and there may be some disagreements. So if you have the kind of family I do where there's always passive aggressive things going on with my parents, just beware. You may blow your top. Damn, I hope it's not me. <laughs> I hope this doesn't apply to me, Scorpio, because uh, if I seen my dad, I don't know if I could even hold it in at this point. But of course, I never see my father because he lives 40 minutes from me and doesn't bother to even call me. So if I see my dad, I'm always walking on eggshells. So I know where a lot of you are. If this is a family event, they're not worth it. Don't don't let this person knock you out your square friend or otherwise. You could have some insomnia in the month of October, just FYI, some anxiety, some fear. Um, remember that um, fear is just an illusion. You don't have to feel afraid. You do not have to feel fearful of whatever is coming up. Scorpio, you can choose to get excited and stay in peace. Your thoughts do not control you. You control your thoughts. You are not being ruled by your thoughts. You are ruling your thoughts. So remember that. In October for money, some of you feel powerless. Some of you, and I hate this because God knows I have been in positions where I felt powerless and I felt as if I had to stay at a job because I was afraid to go somewhere and hate it even more or not make enough money. And some of you may be feeling that way. Others, this could be a lover. You may be a stay-at-home parent or they've been the sole provider and every time things go sideways, you feel panicked because you, you're afraid you're not going to be able to support yourself. In the month of October, Scorpio, you could possibly break free from that mindset. You could have something really good come in, somebody that helps you or gives you an opportunity that... Um, helps you move away from whatever this is that's making you feel powerless when it comes to your money. Tell me about money and career for the month of October 2024, please. There may be some minor setbacks. 
but it's only asking you to review your work and see what you have missed out on. Mistakes teach and learn us. If you have a setback in the month of October with your money, Scorpio, it's just teaching you some kind of lesson. North Star, you're facing the future with excitement as you follow your dreams and embrace your passions in life. You are now directed to your life's purpose. A lot of you are going to discover this beautiful gift that you have, whether it's spiritually, um, you're, you may be really good at something and you, you realize like, I am very good at doing hair. I love to do hair. I, I really, truly do. I enjoy it. Of course, when I had to do it every day, I didn't enjoy it as much as I do now, but I love to do hair and I do some, I can I'm a color professional. I, I'm I really specialized in color and um I love to do hair color. I'm really good at it, but it took me a while to even realize how good I truly was at doing hair color. Some of you, there's something about the job you're in, the career you're in right now. There's a niche or something in that that you're gonna um realize how good of um you know, how talented you are at this. Some of you may realize that you have a gift spiritually. You may be just honing your spiritual gifts and learning how to balance yourself out so you can work as a light worker. Trying something new and exploring other options will help you learn and grow. The opportunities are just waiting for you to discover them. You see what I mean? My guide's confirming what I'm saying, Scorpio. Try some things. If you feel like you would be good at something, try it. If there's something you've been wanting to do, try it. Start a side gig. Do it part-time on the side. Guys, progress, success is pain. It, you can't, you, you're going to be really tired. If you want things to change, you can't stay in your comfort zone. If you want things to change, you can't stay comfortable. Real true success requires you to be tired sometimes. It requires you to sacrifice sometimes. But what that's the payoff. Um, you know, you can do this. So if it, you have to do something before or after work because you need your full-time income, try it, Scorpio. Because you seem to have a talent here. Some of you are impatient and that's the problem. You start doing something, it doesn't manifest as fast as you want it to. And that's the reason why most people will never manifest their dreams is they lose their... they don't hold their intention long enough. It's like putting out an order to DoorDash and then changing it every 10 minutes. And a lot of you, you're a little impatient here. But with patience, with perseverance and putting in the elbow grease, there will be harmony, union. You will be in perfect balance with the universe and with your life. Because whatever this is, it may not feel like a job. When you're working in your purpose, it doesn't feel like work. You're excited. You're excited to create, to, to go to work every day. And some of you, that's what you have to look forward to by the end of October is figuring out your North Star. The overall energy in love for the month of October, there's somebody here that's a little cold in your energy. There's been a pattern with this person. It's fragile. Your relationship is fragile. For the month of October, uh, I'm going to do a love reading for, for October, just an all love reading. We're just going to touch on it here today. I wanted to kind of focus on your life in general, but there's something that's a little fragile and this relationship um, has a pattern. You've been in a pattern with this person. Yeah, this is what I mean. They're, they're cold here. It's making you feel empty and alone. They give you mixed signals. And this person is unreliable. They can't be trusted. But there will be a happy outcome. There will be romantic success. 
uh, romantic success for those that are willing to step out of this pattern. There could be romantic success for those Scorpios ready to put their self back out there. Some of you, about 20% of you, um, there could be some kind of reconciliation that actually ends in success. But those that are dealing with somebody who is cold, who you can't trust, be careful of, of believing them, especially if there's a pattern in what they have done. What's coming towards Scorpio in October for love? Doors are opening, but yeah, this on and off roller coaster of a relationship. This person seems to be so inconsistent, it's hard for you to understand what the hell is even going on. You start to get close, they pull away. It's a pattern or things go well, you learn a, that they've cheated. There, there's something that this person continuously does. They could have a lot of childhood wounds. This is somebody that may be very angry. Um, they could explode on you. There could be beat down, drag out fights. This is the kind of relationship where you lose yourself. You don't even, you look in the mirror and think, who the fuck am I? Because they make you act in ways that you just are so not unproud of. But when it's like this roller coaster of intensity, Scorpio, your body actually gets addicted to all the hormones that are released when you're sad and stressed, like cortisol. Your body will start craving those hormones. It's an addiction. And so this pattern, you're being asked to break free of it. Some of you may enter into a situationship, a situationship with somebody. Tell me about that. Some of you may meet someone new and decide to just be casual. Your intuition is going to tell you everything you need to know. This person is in big D energy. They could be a business person, a very successful provider. A lot of romance, a lot of duality. You may start out deciding to keep things casual, though, because you're just getting out of an on and off relationship. So those Scorpios ready to put their self back out there, although I don't know if this is a full-blown committed relationship, you're going through a higher vibrational shift, and it's time to make big changes here in your life. And remember... If you want to be a high-value person, Scorpio, you have to only accept high-value partners. If you want to be somebody who um, is fully in touch with their self and you want to manifest someone else who isn't your ideal person, you have to be your ideal self because why would this great catch want to get with somebody who is still fucking with somebody else, who's sad, who's all over the place, who's jealous, dealing with trust issues. Maybe this is the month that you deal with something so you can start attracting um, better quality people. Because this is a quality lover. This is somebody that will provide for you or you know want to this is somebody that you could have a relationship with it just looks to me like you may take things slow at first this could be a gemini or a pisces tell me about the person that scorpio has a pattern with please definitely an ex this person's honest they're witty i mean let me say let me rephrase that this person uh they tell you, um, unfortunately, the truth. They'll tell you they don't want a relationship. They will tell you, I've been doing A, B, and C. Um, at least they, they try. You and this person have an open dialogue. There are things that they don't tell you, and they feel like if they're just leaving it out, they're not lying about it. So it's about what they don't say. You seem to have a open dialogue with this person, though. But there's definitely deceit and there's been cheating. I mean, they've been, it's about what they don't say. 
definitely here ten of swords that's the pattern is is this person and their sneaky behavior the things they don't tell you they could leave you in the dark about a lot of things that that happens in this person's private life they could have you in the dark about so many things about their life you all may not have the same friend group there, there's a lot of secrecy coming from this energy i feel this could be an air sign they seem to want to give you the wand or get the wand but scorpio man three of swords ten of swords wow there's so much pain here because of this person's secret behavior because of these mixed signals it's like you you don't know where you stand with them. Um, by the end of October, some of you, there could be a, when I say reconciliation, if you haven't heard from them, they could call you. If things have been really bad, you all could try to smooth things over. But just be careful because this person seems to be greedy, possessive. They try to make you believe they're honest with you, but it's about what they're not saying. So, and this is someone that will tell you they'll be really cold. Like I said, they may say things to you that you don't even want to hear um, in a very cold way. So beware in the month of October, there could be a conversation that you end up thinking, I don't even want to know that. God, I hate that kind of person. <laughs> I really do. That's a hard place to be. What does this person have to say? I want to be more than friends. You all may have kept this relationship really casual. Or some of you, this, this energy is coming from this person that you're in some casual connection with right now. Some of you have already met this person, but you all have been kept keeping casual. And because of this ex that's cold, indifferent, and that you've been in a pattern with, you're taking things slow with the new person. Others, you may meet this new person by the end of October. And remember every detail of that day, and I'm grateful for the spiritual lessons. I wish I would have treated you better. I wish I would have treated you with honor, love, and respect, Scorpio. But I'm not changing anything about my behavior because I'm stuck in a pattern. I hope everybody has the most beautiful and blessed October. You, This is going to be the best damn Scorpio. This is going to be the best October we have ever had. Stand up. Clap your hands. Get ready. Come on, October. Bring it on. Show me my blessings. Love and light.